Aphorism 46, Organon of Medicine Many examples might be adduced of diseases which, in the course of nature, have been homeopathically cured by other diseases presenting similar symptoms. Were it not necessary as our object is to speak about something determinate and indubitable, to confine our attention solely to those few diseases which are invariably the same, arise from a fixed miasm and hence merit a distinct name. Among these, the smallpox, so dreaded on account of the great number of its serious symptoms, occupies a prominent position and it has removed and cured a number of maladies with similar symptoms. How frequently does smallpox produce violent ophthalmia, sometimes even causing blindness? And C. By its inoculation, Desoteo cured a chronic ophthalmia permanently and Leroy another. An amurosis of two years duration consequent on suppressed scald head was perfectly cured by it according to Klein. How often does smallpox cause deafness and dyspnea? And both these chronic diseases it removed on reaching its acme as J. Fierre Claus observed. Swelling of the testicles even of a very severe character is a frequent symptom of smallpox and on this account it was enabled as Klein observed to cure by virtue of similarity a large hard swelling of the left testicle consequent on a bruise and another observer saw a similar swelling of the testicle cured by it. Among the troublesome symptoms of smallpox is a dysentric state of the bowels and it subdued as fear went observed a case of dysentery as a similar morphic agent. Smallpox coming on after vaccination as well on account of its greater strength as its great similarity at once removes entirely the cowpox homeopathically and does not permit it to come to maturity but on the other hand the cowpox when near maturity does on account of its great similarity, homeopathically diminish very much the supervening smallpox and make it much milder. A new footnote is added here in the 6th edition as follows, as Murphy and many others testify. The inoculated cowpox, whose lymph, besides the protective matter, contains the contagion of a general cutaneous eruption of another nature, consisting of usually small dry rarely large pustular pimples resting on a small red areola frequently conjoined with round red cutaneous spots and often accompanied by the moist violent itching which rash appears in not a few children several days before more frequently however after the red areola of the cowpox and goes off in a few days leaving behind small red hard spots on the skin the inoculated cowpox, I say, after it has taken cures perfectly and permanently in a homeopathic manner by the similarity of this accessory miasm, analogous cutaneous eruptions of children often of very long standing and of very troublesome character as a number of observers assert. The cowpox, a peculiar symptom of which is to cause Tumefaction of the arm cured after it broke out a swollen half paralyzed arm. The fever accompanying cowpox which occurs at the time of the production of red areola cured homeopathically intermittent fever in two individuals as the younger Harridge reports confirming what J. Hunter had already observed that two fevers similar diseases cannot coexist in the same body. The measles bear a strong resemblance in the character of its fever and cough to the whooping cough and hence it was that Bosculon noticed in an epidemic where both these affections prevailed that many children who then took measles remained free from whooping cough during that epidemic. They would all have been protected from and rendered incapable of being infected by the whooping cough in that and all subsequent epidemics by the measles if the whooping cough were not a disease that has only a partial similarity to the measles that is to say if it had also a cutaneous eruption similar to what the latter possesses as it is however the measles can put preserve a large number from whooping cough homeopathically 
and that only in the epidemic prevailing at that time. If, however, the measles come in contact with the disease resembling it in its chief symptom, the eruption, it can indisputably remove an effect of homeopathic cure of the latter. Thus, a chronic hepatic eruption was entirely and permanently homeopathically cured by the breaking out of the measles as Cotum observed. An excessively burning miliary rash on the face, neck and arms that had lasted six years and was aggravated by every change of weather on the invasion of measles assumed the form of a swelling of the surface of the skin. After the measles had run its course, the exanthem was cured and returned no more. Footnote 8 this seems to be the reason for this beneficial remarkable fact, namely that since the general distribution of Nana's cowpox vaccination, human smallpox never again appeared as epidemically or virulently as 40 to 50 years before when one city visited lost at least one half and often three quarters of its children by death of this miserable pestilence. Footnote 15. The examples adduced in this place, in this place, in the former editions of the organ and except the last of chronic maladies cured by the H. can, according to the discoveries and explanations I had given in the first part of my book on chronic diseases, be looked upon as only in a certain degree homeopathy cures. The great maladies which thereby disappeared, suffocative asthma of many years standing and pulmonary phytis, were themselves originally of sauric origin widely spread life-threatening symptoms of an ancient sora that had been fully developed in the interior of the system which was again transformed into the simple form of the primitive age disease by the cutaneous eruption resulting from the new infection as always happens in such cases whereby the old malady and the dangerous symptoms were made to disappear such such a transformation into the primitive form is therefore only to be considered as a homeopathic healer of these extensive symptoms of highly developed ancient sora in so far as the new infection puts the patient in much more favorable condition to be cured of the whole sora by antisoric medicines.